Hello, hello. I want to share with you the anatomy of probably 90% of live view tests, unless you're doing something more complicated, but most single interaction tests look like this. So we have the test description, we grab the connection struct, we mount the live view with live, and we grab that second argument, that view that we're going to interact with. We grab the view and then we target an element on the page. Typically we do this with either the element helper or we could pass the form helper and that also takes an additional argument for the form data. And then we perform what I call a render action, right? We're trying to perform an action and re-render the live view. And so you see here we have a render click because we would be actually targeting the increment element and clicking on that element. But there's other things you can do here. Render submit for forms, there's render blur for input elements, there's all kinds of things. You can take a look at the full list and documentation. Once you do that, you actually get HTML back here. That's the HTML that's been rendered and you could actually make assertions about that, for example. We could assert that the one is somewhere in there. But sometimes uh, that is a little brittle, it's not very specific as to where in the HTML uh, we expect that one to be an h1 tag would satisfy that for example so what i like to do is use the has element helper and so we assert that we have an element and we can target an element via css selector in this case we're going to target the id count and we expect that to have a one in it so that's about 90 percent of live view tests that's the anatomy of them you mount the live view you target an element to perform an action on it and then you make the assertion hope you like it